What's good, sneaker addicts? We got the Air Jordan 4 Levi's denim collaboration. Shout out to Retro Kings stopping by here. And I had to shoot this pair of kicks and give you guys an honest, detailed review. There's a lot of hype behind this shoe. And I gotta say, first impression, I definitely am digging them and I can't wait to break this damn shoe down. Before we do so, subscribe if you're new, hit that little notification bell, this way YouTube knows it's okay to notify you when I upload a new video. We got the Sneaker Attic t-shirts available now, ships worldwide, fits true to size. Pick one up today, that will be linked in the description box below. Now this is definitely a fire pair of kicks in my opinion. I really, really dig them. There's little things that I don't like, but it's just one little thing, actually. Besides that, love these right here. And you know what? It's to the point where I think I need to try to find a pair of these. So if you have a size 9, hit me up. Maybe we could work some out, some trades. Hit me up on that IG, at RealDJDells. Up close, you have that denim throughout the upper with your stitching. Really, really looks nice, man. And up top, you see how you have by the laces? So dope how it's denim. I mean, really, really dope. And I love how they reversed and flipped the denim by where you have usually that mesh. Sick. So sick. And then on the harness right there, it's denim too. <laughs> I love it. I love this shoe. I think it's really dope. You've got your tag right there. Flip it around. you got the Levi's like you'd see in the back of your jeans. And then this is what bothers me a little, the midsole. I don't like how sloppy that looks by the air unit. And then scrolling through the rest of the midsole to the outsole. Little hits of gum, which it hits a red, white. Got that herringbone traction with your little jump man. There's a look at the back of the shoe right there, old denim doubt. It's just a sweet looking pair, man. I love how you can see the reverse of the denim, man. It just looks so sick, and I really dig them. And you have your jump man popping out right there. Quick look at the medial side. As far as the fit to Air Jordan 4s, I personally like to go true to size. Now, I have gone down half a size, and I've been okay. My foot shape is more or less like average to narrow, so... I can go down half a size and it fits like perfect to my feet. So that's my recommendations with the Jordan 4. If you have a wide foot, I still think true to size is the move. I don't think you need to go up half a size unless, as I always say, you got that dinosaur foot, that Fred Flintstone foot, that damn brick as a foot. Then you may want to go up half a size. But th this shoe's going to fit just like all the other Air Jordan 4s. So if you own a pair of Air Jordan 4s, then just run with whatever you run with when it comes to sizing on these amazing retro 4s right here. Bird's eye view on the toe, check it out. And then toward the tongue, you see how it's reversed. The denim is flipped over. I love that. Laces look fire. And the tag up top is bonkers. It's so dope, man. They really killed it. Air Jordan on the back of the tongue. And then you have that denim outsole with your Levi's branding. Great touch to finish off this shoe. Fire. And we're going to talk about these upcoming colorways. So definitely stay tuned because there's more colorways to come with this collaboration. But first, let's just concentrate on this right here. And before we even get any further, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd love to see a lot of thumbs ups, at least a couple of hundred. Let's make that happen. Let's make that goal happen. And me, I love them. Let me know if you do. Let me know if there's anything you don't like about the shoe that you would like to change about it. As I was saying before, I just feel like it's a little sloppy by the air unit. I'm a little worried about wearing it if it's going to just get more messed up and start peeling off. Because the midsole is clearly wrapped in the denim. And with it being kind of rugged and ripped, after wear, is it going to just kind of loosen up around that way? It may end up being a real bad look. Because it's glued on. So if it's opened like that, who knows? That's the only concern I have on this shoe. Besides that, gorgeous pair of kicks. If you could get your hands on them, I definitely recommend them. Me, as I was saying, I actually would really like to have these right here. Leave your comments, hot or not, why you like them, why you dislike them, and are you into them releasing more colorways? That's the big question. As I show you these two upcoming colorways right here in your white, white denim. This is a clean looking pair of kicks, 
my concern is man you got to be really careful with wearing this because you get dirt on that upper it could be a hot mess or it could be easy to wash because you could just hit it with some soap and water like you washing some denim and you'll probably be a-okay but I just don't know I'm on the fence on it as far as you know how it's gonna hold up with like this all-white denim but all in all clean clean pair of kicks right here and these pictures by the way are via sneakers and stuff if you're looking for these shoes I'll put a link in the description box below for your convenience so you can check it all out and let's get into this black colorway really really like this I think I may even like this better than the blue jean one I think so because this will be something you could wear a lot and it's easy to match and I just I, I think this is the one I actually want for real like I really really dig these let me know out of the three colorways which ones do you like the most out of all of them like which one is catching your eye the most to me I think um, the black colorway the white colorway is fire too and the denim I don't even know man I'm like now that I'm thinking about it I just don't know I don't know list one through three in the comments let me know which ones you like the best to the worst out of the three leave that in the comments i'd love to read them all if you like this kind of style where we talk about the sneakers we have discussions i do have a patreon page you join the patreon you can get the hour podcast every single week i do an hour podcast open q a to patreon members and the only way to listen to it is being a member plus i am now uploading reviews on shoes that will be exclusive to the patreon members bonus videos and they're gonna be some cool videos where i talk about sneakers that have stories to them me obtaining them all rare sneakers so join the patreon you're gonna get bonus content exclusive there you're gonna get the podcast plus you're gonna get dj mixes so you can stream music there plus on top of all of that you also are entered into a monthly giveaway if you join the right tiers so there's different tiers so you got to check it all out take a minute to check it out I guarantee you if you love what I do if you've been rocking out with me for so many years if you watch all of my videos check it out just go and look at it at least check it out because everyone that's a member loves it they absolutely love being a patreon member they enjoy it and it's a lot of fun it's very interactive so I really highly highly recommend that you go and check it out right now. It will be in the description box below for your convenience or just go to patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. I love YouTube. I will always still upload videos here. No worries, no pressure with becoming a member here. This is just for people that has asked me to make a Patreon page. People have asked me to make the page. so. This is for people that are fans of Patreon. And if you don't know anything about Patreon, this is that next wave. You need to get on it. Go over there. Check it out. Because, as I said, if you love what I do, you're going to have a field day once you're a member. We've got over 14 hours of podcast material alone. 14 hours. Once you become the member, it's all unlocked. The videos, the music, the podcast, plus the giveaways every month. Definitely just want to really let you guys know about it because I just lightly sprinkle that I have the Patreon on every video. But I really want people that don't understand the whole deal to understand it. That it really, really is something that you're going to love if you love what I do. Alright? And I'll be back tomorrow with a new review. Matter of fact, I may do a new pick one because people have been asking, Yo, I missed the pick one videos and you know what? I kind of miss shooting them too. So I think I'm going to do a pick one video tomorrow. Let me know if you want a new review or pick one episode. If you still hanging with me. If you still here, salute to you too. I appreciate you riding through the whole wave. And with that said, much love. Much love. This is the man right here. You feel me? This Shout out to DJ Dells. DJ Dells. Who do we got? We've got the one and only Ken Shamrock. Look at this guy. He is looking better than all these other guys on the arms, man. Hey, I start my day out like that ever since I was a kid. Training has been my life. It isn't stopping now. But I will say this. There's a couple 
things that I wanted to do before I ended step X, before I stepped away and actually retired. I've done everything in the world when it comes to MMA. I've captured all the belts. I did everything I've ever done in all these other organizations. In the WWF or WWE as they call it now, the one thing that I have not was able to capture was that heavyweight belt. And I'm telling you, I want a chance to be able to go after that belt. But only if the, the either Brock Lesnar has it, or The Rock has it, or Kurt Angle has it. Either one of those three I want. I want the ankle match with Kurt Angle to see Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Or I want Brock to see who is the best from MMA and pro wrestling. Of course, it would be me. And The Rock, because he ran away from me after I grabbed the Woo! title champion. Then he went up to get the belt, and then I was supposed to go after that, and he ran away. He's calling him out. He's calling him out. You guys hear it, right? He's calling him out. Make it happen.